Hello gorgeous, what a week this has been. How are you doing? I hope you're well. Oh boy, uh, let's see what we got to talk about this week. A weight loss drug that actually works. I'm not joking either. Oh, I've, had, I've been to see the Lucinda Ellery Clinic about my hair. I'm getting brand new hair soon. Yay! A new channel. I am actually, actually launching a new channel. It's happening. Surgery. This is the last video of me going to the gym for some time because well, I got to heal. So this is my last gym visit before surgery in a couple of days. By the time this actually gets out, I think I'll have had the surgery. What else? So much going on. So hi. How are you? So let's start this. Oh, look at the weather, by the way. It is so much sunny. Apparently, it's we're setting records here in the UK. I think it's like hotter than the sun or something. Oh, hot, 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 hot. I don't know. Whenever we have a mildly warm day in the UK, apparently we set records and people lose their minds. It's like, oh my God, it's so hot. I'm so hot. I need to take all my clothes off. Oh. And the beaches are full, and it's like it's like it's like, it's like it's like twelve degrees or something. It's not actually hot, but people, yeah, people just lose their minds completely, and they're all like, "Yes, take off all the clothes, run to the beach." Oh, it's too hot! It's too hot! It's not like it is too hot, really. Anywho, so that's what's happening. It's very sunny. It's very warm. I am shooting videos all day today. I'm doing some outside videos. I don't get to do many outside videos in the UK. Not gonna lie. I'm taking my drone up. And I'm shooting for the new channel, but I can't talk about the new channel just yet because it's super secret. And when it launches, it's going to launch in a big way. I've got collaborations actually happening with some big talent, with some big creators. This channel is going to be lit. I can't, I'm so frustrated because I want to tell everybody about it, but I can't. But I've got a new domain name, I've got Twitter accounts set up, Facebook pages and groups. All my artwork is nearly finished, it's in draft, it's doing some tweaks. Uh, I've got quite a few videos filmed, I've got another few, few to film today. I've even got stuff lined up for VidCon in California. The idea, you've seen something similar before, but not quite like this. This is a, a new twist on on an old favourite. I think it's going to really find its mark quickly. So, hair. Hair, hair, hair. My hair is in a weave, and you may have seen my weave videos. Long story short, and this is probably for another video, I used to be bald when I was he. I was bald. I had almost, not bald, I had, you know, sides, nothing on the top, so I used to keep my hair extremely short. So I've had hair transplants. And they've been great and they've restored my hair. And if you look at some of my older videos, the ones before the weave, you can see what my hair was like. It wasn't bad. But the volume that I get with a weave is like, yeah, that's the hair I want. Now you can't really get that, no matter how good your transplant surgeon is. Even, even people who haven't lost any hair don't have this much hair. You know, it's, you know, that's what happens. However, by having it in a weave, it's tight, it's very time consuming, looks great, but it doesn't look great for the, you know, by the time it needs to be taken out and, and reweaved, it looks kind of ratty. So I'm going for a thing called an inter interlace weave, which is similar, but rather than using a closure that you get in a weave and then cornrows, this is a, a full closure, a much bigger mesh system. And your natural hair comes through, it's not tied in um, it's not tied in cornrows, so you get to use your, your own hair as well as the, the hair that comes with the interlace. Quite expensive, but once it's done, it looks phenomenal and lasts a long time, a couple of years. So um, it just needs, you know, maintenance an hour or two a month. It's nice, simple. So and that's, that's the biggest problem for me is actually time. So that's happening. I had the consultation yesterday and I've booked in so in about three weeks time I'll be having the interlace and I'm filming I'm filming a show from there so you can see exactly how the procedure works and the before and afters and everything. So um, I'm, at ne I'm nearly at the gym. It's kind of gone foggy. Where has the sun gone? This is not good drone weather because I cannot see it. It's like a bit of a pea super going on right here. So I'm nearly at the gym. I shall, I'm going to get sweaty and uh, see you in a bit. Bye bye. Hello gorgeous, how you doing? It's me again. Bum day done. My last bum day before I go for surgery. I lied earlier, I've actually got one more session tomorrow and I'm going to be absolutely maxing out my shoulders ahead of, you know, uh, shoulders and core day tomorrow ahead of surgery. All right then, so what was I going to talk about? Yes, talk about hair, talk about my channel. Um, a drug that actually works for weight loss. It came back into the news lately. Uh, and the drug is called lyroglutide. 
and it's um, and the brand names are Victoza and Saxenda and it was developed as a, a diabetes medication. What it does is actually reduce the appetite which is brilliant. Now you can buy it on a private prescription I think it's licensed in the UK and in the US and it's recently been approved as a weight loss medication on its own right called under, under the Saxenda brand. But where it came onto my radar, because I've had bariatric surgery, I've had a, you know, a mini gastric bypass, but one of the problems that a lot of people have faced with gastric bypasses in particular is the body wants to eat, it wants to restore the weight that you lose. Now with a bypass and, um, you know, and the various bariatric procedures, it's designed to stop you doing that. But there are people who can overeat in small amounts, they can snack huge amounts through the day, tiny meals very, very frequently. And I understand that because I sometimes feel quite hungry even though I've eaten, you know, whereas before a big meal would keep me full for hours, now I can't eat a big meal and sometimes an hour after having food I'm, I'm really hungry again and I want a snack and you need to keep an eye on that. So there's been some studies then that are using liraglutide with people who are post-bariatric. Now, full disclosure, I did not do this, what I'm about to tell you, under my GP's supervision. So I am in no way endorsing anybody does this. Speak to your GP first. I tend to be a little bit reckless about certain things, okay? Just so you know. However, I have done a lot of studying and research properly, you know, not, not like conspiracy theory research, but actual finding of the facts. Now then, I purchased some liraglutide previously before I had surgery, uh, and it's still well within date, and I had it in my fridge and used. And I read about this study that Saxenda had been licensed for use as a weight loss drug, and they'd been testing then with bariatric patients. So a few weeks ago, I started using it again, and it's an injectable drug, okay? But I spoke to a, a local pharmacy company that supply it, and I told them what I wanted to do, and they said, yeah, it'll be fine. So, okay, well, a little bit cautious, so I started off at a low dose, injected it. Dear God, appetite, gone. So, while it was effective before bariatric surgery, after bariatric surgery, it's like a magic bullet. You combine that drug with bariatric surgery, you just don't want to eat. You just don't want to eat. You you kind of like stuff, but you just don't fancy anything. I was going to bed after not eating for hours, so I thought, wow, this is crazy. So I kept doing it just out of curiosity, kind of forcing myself to eat. Works like a champ. So when this when this is you know if you if you are post bariatric you may want to ask your, your GP that they are able to sub, to prescribe this to per, to post bariatric patients and it's certainly something to consider and it, it I found it quite effective before bariatric surgery the problem I had is I'm not really crazy on needles if I'm honest I was okay with it um, but the dose that I needed also caused some nausea so it wasn't the best thing in that regard but it was effective but after bariatric surgery wow. What they're going to do now is make this a routine thing for post-bariatric patients. It actually stops your body craving food. It helps your body regulate the hunger pangs after bariatric surgery. You can't eat very much after bariatric surgery. You're hungry quite a lot. So by combining bariatric surgery with this drug, the idea is you, you're not hungry. You, it, it's, it's extra effective. So there we go. It actually works. And it's not even like... Um, Oh, well, I think it's working. It's like, holy crap, this is amazing. Like, it's like a light switch. So just putting that out there might be interesting to some people. Um, I think we're close, actually, to having, you know, weight loss cured through medicine, through bypassing willpower, through, through a drug. So there we have it. That was my show this week. I don't have a challenge for you this week because it's a long show. I'm not going to be here next week to do this one. So this is just a challenge-less one. I'll pick up the challenges when I reshoot one of these after. I'm going to be able to train for a while. I'm going to be dead. I don't know how I'm going to do these videos. i got to think of something. My Weight Loss Wednesday videos. It may become a recovery from surgery Wednesday for a while. There you go. That's the end of this one. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the very next show. Cracking show coming out in a couple of days. Really funny. I, I laughed doing the editing, so I hope you like it. And I will see you in the next show. Thank you so much. Like, comment, subscribe, share. Bye. Mwah.